Good morning, Modern Stutters. We're learning from last year's past mistakes. Last year we had a horrible time with some bug infestations. We had a really bad case of tomato hornworms last year. We had cucumber beetles, and then we had cabbage moths. So this year we're gonna learn from that. We're gonna be putting screen up so we don't have to worry about the bugs getting in. I need to take apart the greenhouse a little bit from the winter time setup and get it ready for summertime now and get our screens up. So we're trying to screen out the bad bugs, but the, also that screens out the good bugs. So Jean has been looking around at beneficial bugs and she's gonna be ordering some of them when we need to. Get this out and started. We've been planning for this, so the varieties that we got to grow inside of our greenhouse are self-pollinating and they do not need bees to pollinate them which is going to come in really handy for how we're going to be setting up the greenhouse this year. I'm going to run down the other end and get out the wiggle wire on that end. I'll be right back. Now that we got our wiggle wire out, we can roll up our sides. I bet these sides haven't been rolled up for over six months. If you guys are new to the channel, we built this greenhouse last spring, right around this time of the year. I'll put a link to that playlist right here if you haven't seen it and if you want to check it out. But I need to take down this rope a little bit so we can get up and under here. There we go. Oh yeah, that'll work. We have a, we got a tear right here from the winter time. I'll have to get some tape to repair that come fall and then we won't have this hole right here. But for the summertime, that'll be fine. We have a double wiggle wire track right here. So we're going to be using the bottom track for our bug mesh that we're going to be installing. We ended up ordering this bug mesh online. I'll put a link to the website in the video description down below. Not sponsored, something we purchased, but I know Gina spent a lot of time this winter looking for the right bug mesh so we'll link it she had a lot of time last year invested in catching horn worms at night we'd have to go out to the greenhouse once it got dark with our black lights and illuminate the horn worms and take them off by hand <coughs> And we ended up losing a lot of tomatoes at the same time because of it. So we don't want to have to do that again. This would probably be a better two person job, but Gina had somewhere she had to go and we have rain coming in in a couple of hours. So I want to get this done before the rain comes. It's supposed to be raining for the next three days. So if we don't get it done now, it's not going to get done for a while. Actually works really nice having that wiggle wire track to do that with. I'm gonna stretch this out all the way down and see if we can do it in one swoop and then go back and wiggle wire it. I think that'll make it so we can get it the straight. Way.
I forgot how much fun playing with wiggle wire is. The tip of your thumb gets saw because when you're all done, wiggle wire in this back end, you get that last little bit to put in. You get this short little nub and you got to clip it in. It flicks back and just snaps your thumb. I think this is going to work really well. We already have bugs landing on it trying to get in the greenhouse. I'm just going to secure it down here in the bottom. We'll be good to go. The goal of the greenhouse is to grow as much food for our family as possible and friends, not the bugs. So hopefully this keeps them out. Just going to make a slit in here so we can get this eye hook through. If you have a better idea of how to connect this on the bottom, leave it in the comments down below. This was the way I came up with it. We got our seed starts here that we need to get out in the greenhouse and start hardying them off and getting them ready to plant. It's going to take a few days before we can. We were hoping to get them planted in the greenhouse sooner, but with this crazy weather we've been having, it didn't happen. So they're looking a little weak right now because they need to get transplanted. So we'll get them out here, get them hardied off, and the weather is supposed to be changing a little bit, and we're not going to be getting the cold temperatures at night that we have been. So I'm hoping within a couple of days, which will be in this video, we're going to be getting these planted in the ground, and they're going to green up so nicely. Feel the weather changing. I'm not quite sure when, but that rain's coming. I want to get this side done before it starts raining. Because once it starts raining, all the rain falls right here. And it would not be fun doing this job while it was raining out. Thank you. 
Well, that sun is gone for the rest of the day, so we want to close the greenhouse up to keep all the heat inside so it'll stay warm overnight for all of our transplants we have out here. Good morning, modern steaders. Good morning. Good morning. It is a nice, balmy 48 degrees out this morning. It feels like a heat wave. It does. <laughs> nice. Feels good. Good morning, Figaro. What are you doing, mister? It rained overnight, and now this morning we have a lull in the rain, and we're supposed to have a few hours without any rain today. So that's perfect. Do our morning chores. We're not getting wet and we can do some more work in the greenhouse. Get those plants planted. Yes, and get it bug proof so we don't have to worry about you having to pick tomato hornworms this year. Right. <laughs> What, your breakfast isn't good enough for you? You gotta come out here and try to eat buttercups? Huh? Mowing that down, I can hear him. It's like we don't feed him or something. Like I know. That. Like he wasn't just in the house eating a whole bowl of cat food. Mm -hmm. It's not the same. Everybody's out this morning. The pigs over there are already out eating. They're usually sleeping this time of the morning. I think everybody thinks it's a heat wave and we are enjoying it, so we like getting out in this weather. Ah, we're not used to this kind of temperatures in the morning. I'll feed you ladies right here. There you go. Well, good morning. <clears throat> you ladies, <clears throat> you ladies are full of spunk this morning, aren't you? Yeah, look at you. We did get them disbudded the other day. The vet came and disbudded them, which means they removed their horns, so we don't got to worry about them having horns. And the reason we do that is with horns, they can hurt each other and they can get their heads stuck in the fence. And we don't want that. Huh, little ones? You got an all-you-can-eat hay buffet or what there, Hope? <laughs> no wonder why you like doing this job, Livy's. get entertainment while you're cleaning up, huh? Yep. We're gonna plant our tomatoes where we had our cucumbers last year. We're gonna be putting our cucumbers where we had our tomatoes last year. So that way we can use the trellises and we don't gotta take them down.
compost that we brought in last fall. Set it in the greenhouse so that way it wouldn't be frozen when we needed it. It's not frozen, but it's dried out pretty good right now. We're gonna stop by planting our tomatoes. The first variety we're doing is an heirloom variety that an old timer in the area has been growing and saving the seeds for. I'm not exactly sure the breed or the variety you wanna call it, but they are like a paste tomato. And this year, when we're planting our tomatoes, we're gonna put some bone meal in the soil. And the bone meal, it's a slow release fertilizer. It helps them, helps give them calcium so you won't get blossom end rot. So we're going to go ahead and plant them fairly deep tomatoes. If you bury them, wherever you bury them, they're going to put roots out and then you're going to have all this will be rooted and it'll make the plant a lot stronger. So I think that's too deep. Our starts did super good this year and then just the weather has been crazy as you all know. So we just, we were hoping to get them in sooner. Now they just really need to get into the ground. So the rest of our tomato plants are seeds that we got from Haas Tools. We got most of our gardening supplies from HaasTools.com. I'll put a link in the video description down below. It is an affiliate link. If you buy anything from them, we do get a small commission out of it. No extra charge to you. And also, I'll put a link down there. And if you spend, I think it's $25 or more on your first purchase, you'll get a free tomato seed packet. So let's get these in the ground. We're gonna do three of each of these varieties. We have quite a few different tomatoes to try this year. We're not doing any cherry tomatoes. We find that we don't eat a lot of them. And last year we somehow planted a bunch of them. Yes. Um, so we are more in BLT kind of people. Or pasta sauce. Pasta sauce, right. Paste tomatoes for pasta sauce. And then like the bigger tomatoes, I even like to just eat a big tomato, just cut up. I'm adding blood meal to the tomatoes. This is a good nitrogen source. This is something that's gonna break down. It's a slow release, so doing all these different things at once is fine. We're not gonna burn them because it's a natural organic fertilizer that's slow release, so 
as the plant's growing throughout the different stages of its life when it needs nutrients, this will be breaking down in perfect time. We are planting our cucumbers in the row. We had our tomatoes last year. We got the trellises all set up from the tomatoes. We're gonna plant a third of our row with cucumbers we started in the basement a while ago. And these are mercury, they're mercury something. I can't remember the last pot of the name. They are a cucumber that self pollinates them. We also got them from hostools.com. So for inside of a greenhouse, bees or honeybees do not like to come into a greenhouse. We found that out last year. So with our cucumbers, our summer squash and our zucchini, yeah. Gina was out here a lot hand pollinating. I was. So we found this variety. This is what we're going to try. But we're going to plant a third of the row today with the ones we started in the basement. We're going to start some more. And once those start growing, we'll put those in the middle of the row, the second third. And then we're going to start some from seed in the last third of the row shortly after we plant the second batch. So that way we can have cucumbers coming in at a staggered time. And we're not just like, boom, here's 100,000 cucumbers for you to eat all at once. Yeah, because, you know, they start, these little ones, you're so excited and you, you eat them. And then next thing you know, you have a ton of cucumbers and then you have huge ones. So we're trying to get it so we can kind of be able to have them throughout. Yes. But enough plants so that you can do something. And last Your year. Salad, okay. Last year we trellised our cucumbers and it worked really yeah. well for us. Do a little bit of blood meal. We have these transplanted into our peat pots. You ready for your afternoon snack there, moose and ladies? It's been raining on and off, and luckily right now it stopped raining so we can get our eggs collected without hopefully getting rained on. One, two, four. Five. I'm about ready to say three. <laughs> Seven. Nine. Eleven. Thirteen. Thirteen eggs. Pluto, did you just lay that egg? What is up with that? <sighs> Somebody laid an egg and while they were running back to the coop. It's got a hole in it. The dogs will have her for a snack. There you are, biscuits and gravy. Can to give Pluto a kiss? Got a crack in it. Eight. Ten. 
10. One itty bitty one. And that is it today. preheated at 425 and I'm going to do some chicken breast. If you are going to raise your own chickens, I just recommend that you take the time and piece some of them out. So I did it probably, I can't remember if it was six or 10, but I didn't do enough. So this year I'm going to each batch we do, I am going to take the time and piece out my chicken. I have a little bit of maple syrup here. I'm going to um, just mince up some garlic and throw that in here. A little bit of honey Dijon. Dijon mustard. good it has that it's got the maple syrup taste with the zing of the honey Dijon mm. I think that's gonna be really good on the on the chicken breast the chicken all seasoned and all the dressing on it now I'm gonna pop it in the oven I'm gonna put it in there and check it about 20 minutes I want it to be at 165 we have been on a summer squash and zucchini kick well, hopefully soon we will be having some growing in our garden Dear Lord, thank you for the wonderful day. Dinner was delicious. That maple glaze that Gina put on the chicken was delicious. We got some new merch. I'm gonna put a link in the video description to the new link. And also we have a merch shelf. If you're watching on your PC, we have new hoodies new shirts we got coffee cups we got travel mugs and a bunch of other things so go check it out thanks for coming along on our homesteading journey you guys are a huge blessing to us in our homestead if you're not already subscribed to the channel hit the subscribe button turn on notifications if you like the video give it a thumbs up it really helps and we'll see you right back here in the next video at lumna acres bye